extermination. Oh, poor lad! Poor lad! Well, Frederick, if you conscientiously feel that it is your duty to destroy us, we cannot blame you for acting on that conviction. Always act in accordance with the dictates of your conscience, my boy, and chance the consequences. Besides, we can offer you a little temptation to remain with us anyway. We can't seem to make piracy, well, pay. I don't know why, but we just can't. I don't know why, but alas, I mustn't tell you it wouldn't be right. Why not, my boy? It's only half past eleven, and you are one of us till the clock strikes twelve. Yeah, true. And until then, you are bound to our interests. Here, here. Well then, it is my duty as a pirate to tell you that you are too tender-hearted. Tender. -hearted. tender -hearted. For instance, you make a point of never attacking a weaker party than yourself, and when you attack a stronger party, you invariably get thrashed. Well, so, that's, that's, that's not, well, I mean. Well, there may be some truth in that. Then again, you make a point of never taking from an orphan. No! 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 Of course! Orphans, so we know what it is to be one. Yes, but it has come about, and what is the consequence? Everyone we capture says he's an orphan. No! The last three shows we took proved to be made entirely by orphans. No! And so we had to let them go. One would think the Great Britain's mercantile navy was derived solely from her orphan asylum, <laughs> which we know is not the case. But hang it all, you wouldn't leave us absolutely merciless. There's my dilemma. Until 12 o'clock I would. For 12 I wouldn't. There was ever a man faced in so delicate a situation. And Ruth, your well-loved Ruth, who has won her middle-aged way into your boyish heart, what is to become of her? Ah, he will take you with him. Well, Ruth, I feel some little difficulty about you. It is true that I admire you very much, but I have been constantly at sea since I was eight years old, and yours is the only woman's face I've seen during that time. I, I think it is a sweet face. Oh, it is, it is. <laughs> I, I say I think it is. <laughs> but as I've never had an opportunity of comparing you with other women, it is just possible I may be mistaken. <laughs> well, true. What a terrible thing it would be if I were to marry this innocent person and then find out that she is on the whole plane. Oh, no. Ruth is very... She's very... Well? Well! Ruth is very well. Very well, indeed. Yes, there are the... remains. <laughs> of a fine woman about Ruth. Do you really think so? I do. <laughs> then I will not be so selfish as to take her from you. If justice to her and a consideration for you, I will leave her behind. No. Oh. Frederick, we are a rough man. No. Who need a rough night? No. But we are not so ugly harmless as to bribe thee of thy love. I think I am right in saying that there is not one here who would rob thee of this inestimable treasure for all the world holds. Not, not one! Nay, I thought not. Keep thy love, Frederick. Keep thy love. You're very good, I'm sure. Mm. <gasps> well, it's the top of the tide. We must be off. Farewell, Frederick. When the process of your extermination begins, do try to make our deaths as swift and as painless as you can conveniently render them. I will. By the love I have for you, I swear it. <laughs> Would that you could render this extermination unnecessary by accompanying me to civilization? No, Frederick, it cannot be. I don't think much of our profession, but contrasted with respectability, it is comparatively honest. No, Frederick, I shall live and die a pirate king! Ah! <laughs> The gray black flag I fly, and then play a sanctimonious part with a pirate head and a pirate heart. Away to the cheating world go you. Where pirates all are well to do, but I'll be true to the song I sing and live and die a pirate. Oh, 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 oh,
I am a pirate king, and it is, it is a glorious thing to be a pirate king. For I am a pirate king, and it is, it is a glorious thing to be a pirate king. It is about the pirate king, about the pirate king. My prey, I help myself in a royal way. I sink a few more ships, it's true, than a well bred monarch ought to do. But many a king on a first class throne, if he wants to call his crown his own, must manage somehow to get through more dirty work than it. Your 
morning, gentle maidens. I dare not show in this alarming costume. No, no, I must remain in close concealment until I can appear in decent clothing. <laughs> I had intended not to 
intrude myself upon your notice in this effective but alarming costume. But under these peculiar circumstances, I feel it is my bounden duty to inform you that your proceedings here will not be unwitnessed. I am a pirate. A pirate horror. <laughs> Ladies, do not shun me. This evening I renounce my vile profession, and to that end, O oh pure and peerless maiden, O oh blushing. I soar at heart, I soar at heart, implore your kind
better pause, for danger may befall. Their father is a major general. Yes, yes, he is a major general. Yes, yes, I am a major general. <laughs> or he is a major general. He is a rock for the major general. Anything else? No, nothing else. 
members of our birth we do elect you. For he is the organ boy. He is a rock star organ boy. And it sometimes is a useful thing to be an organ boy. It is a rock star organ boy. A rock star organ boy. No! 
and the stucco in your baronial castle is scarcely dry. Frederick, in this chapel there are ancestors, and you cannot deny that. With the estate, I bought the chapel and its contents, and now I don't know whose ancestors they were, but I know whose ancestors they are, and I, and I, and I, and I, and I shudder to think that I am descendant by purchase, and by my face I describe myself disgrace, though I have no doubt, was an unstained family as Gitana! Had you not acted as you did, these reckless men would assuredly have called the nearest clergyman and married your large family on the spot. <laughs> I thank you for your proper solace, but it is unavailing. I assure you, such is the anguish and remorse I must feel for committing such an abominable falsehood. That I would go to the simple minded chief of these easily deluded pirates and confess all this very night. And did I not fear the consequences for most, most, most dastardly to myself? Oh, 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 At what time does your expedition march against these scoundrels? At 11. And before midnight, I hope to have atoned by them for my involuntary association with the pestilent scourges by sweeping them from the face of the earth. Dear Mabel, you will be mine. Are your devoted followers at hand? They are. They only wait my orders. Men, Frederick, let your escort fly in hearted. Be summoned to receive a general's blessing. Ere they depart upon their dread adventure. Yes, well meant. Evident. Ah, yes, well meant. When 
having been born in leap year on the 29th of February. And so, by a simple arithmetical process, you'll easily discover that though you've lived 21 years yet, if we go by birthdays, you're merely five and a little bit over. <laughs> <laughs> How quaint the ways of paradox that common sense she gave me much Though counting in the usual way is twenty-one I've been alive Yet reckoning by my natal day Yet reckoning by my natal day I am a little boy of five He is a little boy of five <laughs>
likewise my duty to a guardsman in that life. He has done his duty, I will do mine. Go ye and do yours. Right so. This is perplexing. We cannot understand it at all. Still, if he is actuated by a sense of duty. That makes a difference, of course. At the same time, we repeat, we cannot understand it at all. No matter. Our course is clear. We will capture these pirates. <laughs> It is most distressing to be the agents whereby our erring fellow creatures are deprived of the liberty that we ourselves hold so dear. But we should have thought of that before we joined the force. We should. It's too late now. It is. When the felon's not engaged in his employment, during his felonious little plans, little plans. his capacity for innocent enjoyment, innocent enjoyment. is just as great as any honest man. Honest man. Our feelings we with difficulty smother, with constabulary duties to be done. done. I'll take one consideration with another. with another. A policeman's lot is not a happy one. With constabulary duties to be done. A policeman's lot is not a happy one. <coughs> when the enterprising burglar's got a burgling, and the customer is occupied in crime, he loves to watch the little crook a gurgling, or listen to the merry village chime. Costa's gonna jump in on his mother. On his mother. He loves to fly a basking in the sun. In the sun. I'll take one consideration with another. With another. A policeman's lot is not a happy one. Constabulary duties to be done. To be done. A policeman's lot is not a happy one. Happy one.
so quickly hide. Yes, yes, the Major General calls. Hide! Yes, 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 yes. the Major General comes. Yes, yes, the Major General comes. For blessed with the anguish pains of falsehood on a tongue, I lay upon my bed.
brief advantage you contrive. Yeah. 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 But your proud triumph will not be long life. <laughs> We charge you yield. <laughs> we charge you yield. In Queen Victoria's name. You do. We do. We charge you At once with humble pleading, because with all our faults we love all our queen. Yes, yes, with all their faults they love their queen. Yes, yes, with all our faults they love their queen. Away with them! and place them at the bar.